Greetings! We will be reading the actual words from the newspaper, the Oregon State Journal, from Eugene City, Oregon. So let's read a newspaper together. So gather up your unruly children so we can find out what happened on September 15, 1883 in Eugene City. Bright star of my love is tense. Allow me to watch over you, said a printer to his sweetheart. She made a blank at him and planted her hand between his eyes, which made him see stars. The side wheel iron passenger steamer Olympian, built for the Oregon Railroad Transportation Company to run on Puget Sound, was launched at Wilmington, Delaware, August 22nd. It is 260 feet long, 38 wide, and 14th feet depth of hold. Read this. If you cannot read this print distinctly by lamp or gaslight in the evening at a distance of 10 inches, your eyesight is failing no matter what your age and your eyes need help. Your sight can be improved and preserved and properly corrected. Come to J.S. Lucky, Eugene City, Oregon, dealers and repairers of clocks, watches, and jewelry. The last spike, last Saturday, September 8th, at a point about 55 miles west of Helena, the ceremony of driving the last spike on the Northern Pacific Railroad took place. It was witnessed by distinguished people from nearly all parts of the United States and from many of the nations of Europe. A milk cow, medium size, mostly red, with a little white under the belly, strayed from the residence of E. Anderson in Eugene about four or five weeks ago. A reasonable reward will be paid by the owner for the delivery of the cow to him. Eugene Prices Current Wheat per bushel, 80 cents. Oats per bushel, 50 cents. Potatoes per bushel, $1.50. Onions per bushel, $1.75. Butter per pound, 25 cents. Eggs per dozen, 25 cents. Female Freaks Two girls who attempted to popularize Mother Hubbard dresses at Collins, Colorado, thereby excited a mob to hostile demonstrations. One of the principal graces of Sarah, Duchess of Marlborough, was prodigious abundance of fine hair. One day at her toilet, to anger her heroic lord, she cut off her commanding tresses and flung them in his face. Woman who has been looking over blankets in a Main Street store. Well, I didn't mean to buy. I'm just looking for a friend. Clerk politely. Don't think you'll find your friend among the blankets. We've looked them all through. Some young ladies have invented a new plan for securing husbands. They go out boating with the man of their choice, contrive to upset the boat, then grab him and save his life. The victim generally showing his gratitude by marrying his preserver. It is a novel scheme for young ladies who can swim. 
But the probabilities are that a few years after marriage, the man will regret that his life was saved. Some New York ladies have thought to outdo the world by wearing wax tomatoes and peas on their bonnets. A brace of Washington ladies appeared on the avenue today with bundles of garlic on their poke bonnets and a couple of bets on their tracks. Yes, said the farmer to the keeper of the store in his village as he came down to report the effects of using a new preparation which had been recommended as sure confusion and sudden death to insects of all sorts whatsoever. It works like a charm. I never saw anything that so discouraged the bugs. I tried it on my potatoes and squash vines and now there ain't a bug in either patch. Good, said the starkeeper. Killed them all off, didn't it? Just like I told you. Not exactly, said the farmer, but it killed every tarnation vine on the place and then the bugs got discouraged and left. <music>